Astrid. He's Gaston. Anyway, I'm German, but I used to live in Peru for about over 25 years. Very happy in Peru. Nobody will get me out of here. And here we're in New York for the Edgar Prizes and see what's going to happen here. Okay, Peruvian cuisine is a, it's a long story. It's about thousands of years uh, since uh, our ancestors developed one of the most amazing agricultures in the world. Peruvian cuisine, which is a melting pot of every culture all over the world. And uh, maybe that's why it makes it unique and interesting and beautiful and uh, everybody likes it. Okay, that is good for everybody, the environment, the health, the nutrition and culture. So uh, if other companies in other activities see food and cooking as an opportunity to, to support, uh, we will be always there to support this initiative because it's, uh, it's the way it should be. You know? We did open like five years ago uh, a cooking school actually in the, one of the most poor part of Lima, it's called Pachacute, and it was a huge success. Now we're gonna do the same thing in another part of Lima, it's called Pamplona Alta. It's a hill, a very poor hill, no light, no electricity, no water, but uh, full of little kids. Um, dreaming about having an opportunity in the life. And so we are doing the same school in another place of Lima. At the beginning when we had one restaurant, it was really hard because I wanted to kill him and he wanted to kill me. So I take really more care of the pastries and I'm doing the servers and he's doing the cuisine. And the good thing that we almost never meet together because I usually work at night and he works during the day. So this really works and that makes us love each other actually. <laughs> but she still wants to kill me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. <laughs>